Hi, I'm Gabe Kirkendall. I'm a junior at Madison High School, and this is my first year with the video audio production team. We're at the LISD Tech Center Reverse Job Fair. This is where we invite employers all around the region to our school so the Tech Center students can show off their job skills and hopefully get a job. Let's check it out. Well, we host this for a couple of reasons. Uh, I, I don't know if I'd say first and foremost, it gives our employers here in the local area an opportunity to see what talent we're developing. And uh, on quite a few occasions, there is a match made in terms of they may have an entry level position where they're interested in some of our students. But the second reason we host it uh, is equally important is the opportunity for our students to get some experience talking to employers, getting a little bit of a, um, uh, an introduction to a real life interview. Um, obviously it's usually a little shorter than they would see if they're you know, scheduled to go into an office or a workplace to do it, but some real good experience talking with employers and getting a feel for what they're looking for as well. How does this job fair help students here in Lenaway County? Well, we've got a lot of students gaining a lot of skills in this building in 26 different programs. All are gaining relevant uh, skills to the local uh, employers out there. And this event connects our students to local employers. The growth of this event, uh, we started four years ago. We had 15 employers come to the event, and we considered that a success. Uh, this year, we're hoping to top 50. In fact, I think we've already topped 50 employers. Uh, to me, that's a success. Employers are, are seeing our uh, tech center, the LISD Tech Center, as a viable place to come to get their next generation of workers. Do you see any qualified prospects? Uh, everywhere, every table. Um, like I said, mechanics, we, you know, diesel mechanics, that's our the big thing. Um, construction, we do construction. A lot of, lot of qualified. It's kind of, it's nice to, you know, walk around every table. Every table, I could spend, you know, hours talking to them. Tell me about your company. I'm with GB Manufacturing. We're located, uh, headquartered out of Delta, Ohio. Uh, we have five different locations, uh, southern Ohio to uh, the middle of Indiana, about 250 employees, and we're here today looking for uh, some, looking at, at the machining program and possibly some of the welding program as well. Do you see any qualified prospects? Yeah, right now we have two kids that we're very interested in, so uh, I'd probably be making job offers to at least two kids. What is the starting pay scale for those positions? Uh, those positions depend upon uh, depend upon the skill of the employee. Um, we will probably start around sixteen dollars an hour, and evaluate the student over uh, over the first uh, few months, and then adjust accordingly. How do you think this job fair helps employability in the state of Michigan? Um, well, we're out of Ohio, you know, but uh, we we think. Uh, we think just generally if you can come out and uh, have entry level skills, um, normally if you start training somebody uh, that hasn't, that doesn't have an entry level, they cost you money for the first two years. So we're hoping to avoid that, that, that period of time where they co actually cost us money to hire them. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, we're very impressed with the program here at LISD. We came over and toured it a couple of months ago. Uh, so we're, we're actually considering some, uh, some engineering summer interns as well. And, uh, and even even some of the IT programs. So we're, we're, there's a lot that the, the LISD has to offer for us. How do you think this would help them in the in the workforce? Uh, I think today at the job fair will help them a lot because I I know a few were nervous. Um, they had to dress up a little bit different than they normally do. Um, they had to approach employers and be ready for that handshake and that first impression. So I think it will help them get a job. The skills we teach them. Um, will help them keep the job, but if we don't teach them these skills too, they won't ever probably get a good job. Do you think your students are qualified for positions in the in the field? We're very much so. Um, right now, industry is struggling to find um, people that have entry-level skills in machining, so yes, they're, they're quite prepared. 